Current situation, living in extreme poverty, barely able to afford meals, accepting sponsors for the following. Hotels, cars, houses, I, yeah, I'm going to sponsor you a house, luxury gym memberships, clothing and storage, and food. Yes, I'm absolutely broke, but you know, I'm still going to hold my standards this high. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back in r slash choosing beggars because, yeah, some people do be really picky and all that stuff there. But if you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future be sure to hit that like button leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions and if you guys have not already subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications we need help moving our furniture to a new apartment that's it no other inquiries please be available tomorrow 7 31 between 3 p.m and 7 p.m we don't want anything else from you we just can't move our couch without some help your reward will be at best a bottle of water. Okay, who wants to be the person to tell her that's not exactly how Tinder works, nor is that the purpose for it in the first place or at all. But thank you for the bottle of water reward. Totally makes it the whole matching you on Tinder thing is totally great. Looking for a babysitter in the area. PM me if you are interested. Here are my requirements. One, have a bachelor's degree in childcare or nine years of relevant babysitting experience. Two, three good references with phone numbers. Three, full-time availability including weekly Weekends. Place your bets for what the pay is already. Four, your own car and driving license. Five, native English speaking and preferred second language to teach to my children. Six, CPR certified, ideally a CNA license. Seven, no history of traffic tickets and no problem with the law. Oh, by the way, I will be running your name through databases. Eight, no tattoos, no substances, no alcohol, no sketchy social media behavior, and slash or public pictures. Yeah, you know, because having publicly accessible pictures definitely uh, is going to ruin things for you at the babysitting spiel. Nine, must be okay with my two pit bulls. Ten, must be okay with emergency last minute calls. Eleven, perfect attendance, 100% required. Twelve, willing to pay for some snacks. Thirteen, will love to work with an infant, three-year-old, and a five-year-old. Ah, cool, so three kids. Okay, okay, this must be good pay then, right? Fourteen, Ideally, will be a Trump fan in exchange. I will be offering $10 an hour under the table cash. It's like making $15 an hour normally, but without paying tax. Serious inquiries only. Yet, yeah, the cool thing about serious inquiries is that the post needs to be serious too, which this one very much ain't, even though you think it is. Hi. Yo, what up? Can you help me? Uh, dunno. D depends on what you need. LOL. Can you draw my character? She looks like this, but with black hair and gold eyes so essentially building a character what's your budget i thought you can do it for free nope i'm not gonna lie kind of rude to ask that way in my opinion <laughs> lol ah yes uh, totally not the same douche move to ask for it to be free then i only ask that when i know what the answer is wow rude never mind your art blows anyway my friend does it so much better then go ask your friend to do it for free hello mail yes i also beg for arts for from artists I hate. Oh, what? Were you simply expecting someone to spend hours of their day to actually make a well-detailed piece of your character that you haven't even provided a proper reference for and you wanted them to do it for free? <gasps> free? I I'll tell you this right now, if you're able to get something done with an artist and you both are very much on good terms with each other, maybe that artist will cut you some slack or give you a nice deals, but you can't just walk up to any random schmuck on the internet and then ask them to do well-detailed crap for you for free and then get upset when they tell you they can't do that. And then and also just insulting the art saying, oh, your art isn't that good anyway, really just makes you look like a bigger idiot than you already are. I just have this strange feeling that the people on the internet that get upset when a random person doesn't do an art for them for free are just gonna turn into the people that just become the Karens of retail. Except, you know, on the internet. Hi, I'm looking for a mommy helper for after school until I'm done with my work day, 4.30 p.m. for two little boys, 3.5 and 1.5 years old. They are well-behaved little boys and love to play. Someone who is wanting to get into babysitting, but has little to no experience and would need some gentle guiding. 
I would be present in the home and accessible if needed, looking for someone who is responsible and kind and looking to just play with kids. A junior high is not too young to start out trying to babysit. This would be an unpaid position and needed however often someone is willing Monday through Friday. They will start next week. Smiley face. Ah uh, yeah, congrats, you're really bringing it home with that smiley face with the whole I see nothing wrong with this mentality. You know, last I checked, babysitting doesn't show up at all on a resume and it's not exactly something they're looking for. Oh, it's good for networking. Uh-uh. No, it's not. And uh, by the way, congratulations still, like I said, with saying that this is an unpaid position. You're paying them and you aren't even paying them in exposure. Yeah, you just wait though. That card is definitely coming. Another thing, if I could ever meet someone I could consider marrying, that man will have to pay me to be a full-time mother. If I have to give up my hopes, dreams, and career to raise a child, my starting salary is $200,000. I'm not going to have a financial loss. And for your information, I'm trained in all areas of domestic life and have been offered $200,000 to nanny, plus weekends off and paid vacations. Definitely seeking the same deal to have my own children. Lovely way to advertise such a high standard on Instagram Reels or Facebook Reels, Snapchat. I don't know the thing with the Reels, but you know, since I have kind of figured out how to do select screenshots, I decided to have a little bit of a research time. And I've taken out my calculator, done the algorithms, and so looked up everything that I needed to know, and have come to the result that you are insane. <laughs> oh wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> I know the money is tight for everyone right now, but I was wondering if there was any way that someone could help me or multiple people could help me with this. It's a huge overdraft fee and I really could use a leg up. If you can help or are willing to help, just send a message. Thank you very much. I gotta say, the one thing I don't understand about banks is that they charge you money for having a negative balance, making it so your situation only gets progressively worse as things go, and I I've never understood that. Like, no joke, you could be maybe $2 a negative, and like a week later, you got another $40 that you are now negative in. I wasn't exactly sure if this was just a bad victim of circumstance or somebody trying to be sketchy, so I looked in the comments. One of them says, update. Comments on the app have been calling out this guy, apparently asking for money a few days prior for a different reason, so it's not a one-off situation, unfortunately. Looking for a part-time job. I need to make $500 a week, and I can only work Thursday and every other weekend, unless it's nice outside. Then I will need off with pay. A thanks in advance. Any leads are uh, helpful. Uh, you know what? I, I bet that the comedy club down the street is hiring. You mean to tell me that you only want to work one day except for every other week, then you'll work two, three days, uh, and then, but you want $500 a day. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, hold up. I, I got your job for you right here. In all legitimacy, I think your only option was to be a douchey prank YouTuber in 2018. While I await a neurology appointment and hopefully subsequent treatment, I'm in need of some resources to mitigate triggers and provide truly any semblance of relief. I'll be taking a steep cut to my working hours and income in order to better manage my symptoms and begin transitioning to a career field that offers more autonomy and accessibility slash accommodation. If anyone would like slash is able to assist with any of these needs, I'll have my Venmo linked. My priorities include an air purifier and fans to minimize all scents slash odors in my apartment as well as regular air quality, 300 to $400, or you know, just 50 bucks on Amazon. Ongoing 30 minute weekly massage to encourage muscle relaxation. Tension is a big issue, 50 plus weekly. Okay, that's not a necessity though. Purchasing a special reading slash sunglasses designed for migraine to two to three hundred dollars okay either i'm missing something or you're nuts and funds to eventually relocate to an apartment closer to my community support network public transit and place of employment more than a thousand dollars hey you know i gotta admit these are all very interesting things and there is actually a wonderful solution that involves just a a little bit of labor 20 to 30 hours a week sometimes in areas 
40 if they call that uh, a full time, that it actually will pay you over time to make it so that these things are more doable. It's called getting a job, plus also very much you need a lesson in money management. I can understand that accessibility issues would be something that would keep you from getting a job that would be certain areas, but there are also other places that are more accommodating, but also at the same time, I don't think you need a $400 air purifier when you can very much find cheaper stuff online that do pretty much the same thing. Hi, my name is Redacted, I'm these many years old, who is six feet tall, blank, and a veteran of the United States Army. I work two jobs, take care of my two sons, which one has autism, and my dad who has stage three lung cancer. I volunteer with the Women Army Corporation, yes, I give back to the people who don't have much. My oldest son went into the Air Force this year after he graduated, so I am per a proud parent here. I made sure I did the best I could being a single parent. I wish I had a better paying job, but not complaining because it could be worse. I am writing to see if you could send me cool things from your establishment. Please don't think I am begging. I just know I probably won't get the chance to travel with all of the things going on in my life. Not rich or famous or nothing, just an ordinary vet trying to make it out here in the world. Thank you for taking the time to read this. So basically in a nutshell, I'm a vet, send me cool shit. Okay, yeah, no, that don't totally sound like begging. People in the comments were asking what kind of cool shit they have at this place, and uh, honestly, I'm a little curious too. But look, I can very much respect if you fought for this country, because it's very much a brave task, and there are a lot of people that don't come home for that. Sending a random note into a place, asking them to send you stuff though, doesn't sound like the best idea. Let me make this clear to everyone. We do not want to go to the animal shelter. We are just looking for someone that has a litter of cats that my mom wants to see so she can pick one out and it has to be a male cat that is eight weeks old. No shelter. My mom does not want to go to a shelter. Yeah, it kind of sounds like your mom needs to stop being a choosy beggar. Suck it up and go to the shelter to find a kitten she connects with. You know, your mother acting like this, I don't think she does deserves to have a cat at all, because, uh, yeah, no, it's totally not like the cats at the shelter would, you know, have medications and make sure they're vaccinated and healthy and anything. Nah, let's just go down to the street, give them a 50, and try to get a kitty. What would actually be the difference between going to the shelter versus finding somebody randomly on Facebook Marketplace or wherever, getting kitties given out? Oh, yeah, wait, no, it would actually be them holding you accountable and doing a background check. Hi, all. <laughs> Super embarrassed, and I hate to post anonymous, but... I have been in a bad way lately, and I'm looking for anyone that can help out. Looking for a 2019 or newer F-150, preferably a Raptor that they don't need anymore. I don't have much money, any actually, but I promise to pay it forward when I can. I see how generous everyone is in the blank. I love you all. Please, no bad vibes. Then you are in the wrong location. Hey, can somebody give me a whole V? Vehicle, preferably the performance trim of said vehicle, you know, for free. You must be having some kind of vibes with the shit that you're smoking. You mind passing? I'm desperate. I am in need of a sofa, got two children, money is tight as Christmas is around the corner, single mom, no family to help, someone please help. Hey, uh, cannot deliver, but plenty of life left in them. <laughs> no way. Oh, what, you were expecting to go to a group called Free Shit and not expect them to also then be free to delivery. But with that, that's gonna have to be it with the video. If you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye. Uh,